Okay, so inside of the resource section of this module, you're going to find a link that will give you access to 40 free listings um, when you open up your brand new Etsy shop. I've gone ahead and clicked on that link. I've popped in my email address and a password. And now we've moved on to the next step where we can start setting up our brand new Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and run through all of the steps here so you can do this easily and seamlessly and get your Etsy shop up and running in no time. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is head on over to the button where it says let's do this to start this process. Okay, so the very first question here is it's going to ask you what brings you to Etsy? It doesn't really matter what you pick here. So just go ahead and select the, um, the option that suits you best. Next is um, a couple of more questions. Honestly, just run through these as quick as possible to get you to the um, setup process. I'm just going to go skip this question. All right, so let's go ahead and start setting up the shop. Okay, here is where you're going to want to add up your shop preferences. So you're going to want to select your shop language, your shop country and your shop currency. Make sure that this is all correct information as it will help you um, move forward in this uh, uh, setup process. Shop countries Australia and in Australian dollars. Yes, please. Let's go save and continue. So here we are in the step where you're going to name your shop. Now, like I mentioned in the introductory video of this module, you want to make sure that you've got an idea of what you want to call your Etsy shop. This is something that you can change in the future, but I would highly recommend that you take the time and thought into considering what you want to do from the very start. Um, and it saves you having to do all the changes um, uh, further on down the track. Okay, so um, just have a think about what kind of products you're selling, what kind of market you want to sell to um, but just don't get hung up here I don't want you to be stuck I want you to just name your shop and then just move on personally I like to steer clear of my name um, that's just personal preference um, but you do what is right for you okay I'm going to go ahead and pick out an Etsy shop name hopefully nobody else has got it and then we're going to move on to the next step okay so I went with little canvas cove I think that that's got a cute little ring to it um, and um, would be perfect for the type of audience that I want to attract. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So let's go save and continue. Okay, so like I mentioned in the introductory video of this module, we are going to come across this step here where Etsy is going to prompt us to list our very first item. Now, obviously, we don't have our first item ready to go. We're going to be creating it in the upcoming modules. But in order to get through this setup process, we are going to need to list a, a dummy or a test item for our shop. So what you want to do is just grab any photo that you've got. Add one photo, um, add a, a, a title here, and then anything that's got an asterisk. So you just want to fill in all of these details with any dummy uh, text or any, um, you know, um, filler text. Um, and then you want to add in your price, your quantity, that's fine. And then um, you want to go ahead and save and continue. If you change this to digital, it should get rid of all of the delivery um, information here. So I'm just going to run through that quickly with you now. Um, and I will see you once that's all done. It might ask to add a digital product here. So you might need to add in a file. Let's go ahead and down. So you selected made to order above. That's fine. Actually, I selected made to order. So let me go ahead and change that to... Here, 20 to 2023 if we scroll down it's going to prompt us to add a digital file so let's go ahead and upload a file so I'm just um, uploading any file that I had on my computer so no need to worry about that because we are going to be deleting or delisting this item just make sure that the, everything is ready to go okay and just go save and continue once you've filled out all that dummy information okay so our first listing is up now let's go ahead and um, where it says uh, the next step. So we want to go to do this later. We don't want to add any more listings right now. So go do this later. Okay, so now in this next section, we are going to set up how we are going to get paid. So here is where you want to add things like where you, is your bank located, um, some tax information. So this is all going to be dependent on where you live in the world. This is going to be different for every country. So just take note of that as you're running through this. You also want to add a little bit of information, so personal information about the country that you live in, your first name, your date of birth. And you just want to make sure that you are accurate with this information. Make sure that you are including um 
uh, all the correct personal information to make this as streamlined as possible. I'm going to go ahead and update all of this information and then I will catch you in the next step. Okay. The next step will be verifying your ID. So make sure that you um, upload any documents that you need to verify your ID. Once that's done, your identification will be saved and then it's over to the next step. Okay, the next step is to add in your billing details. These are the details about how you will be billed by Etsy should you um, need to be billed for any fees or or such. But if you do make sales, most of these bills and most of these fees are covered. So that's the good thing. Very rarely um, will you need to be paying Etsy. Uh, well, that's been my experience anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to add in these details now and then I am going to um, catch you in the next step. Okay, so once you have got all of that information, it's now time to open up your shop. So go ahead and open up your shop. Okay, so our shop is open for business. Okay, so once you have opened up your shop, you're going to be redirected to your Etsy shop dashboard. I'm just going to close this off for now. So here is the back end of your brand new Etsy shop. So be sure to get yourself acquainted with using your new Etsy shop dashboard. Obviously, if this is the very first time that you've been here, I would recommend going through the quick starter guide here that you see on the screen. So just go through those steps. Also, just read through any information that they have here on this dashboard for you. Um, also, just navigate your way through all of the different tabs here within the shop manager um, menu. Um, just get yourself acquainted with all the different sections and areas and places where you can add information or where you can, you know, upload your listings and things like that. Now, obviously, we have created our first listing. And what we want to do before, um, you know, Etsy starts promoting that listing is we want to make sure that we either delete it or delist it. So I'm going to go ahead now. So go on over to the listing section of your Etsy shop dashboard. Okay, here we are going to find our test digital item. Let's just close that off for now. So here under this test digital item, we want to go to the toggle button here. Just click on that and we want to go to deactivate. So let's go ahead and deactivate. So here, once deactivated, this listing will not appear in your public shop. Deactivating a listing doesn't affect its four month listing period. That's fine. No worries. Let's go deactivate. And then perhaps once we list our very first item in our shop, like our, our sellable item, the one that we want to actually sell, I would go back to this deactivated listing and then um, go ahead and delete it completely. I'm not too sure whether or not you can't have anything in your Etsy shop. So this is probably the best way to do it. So if we go ahead and refresh this, that listing should now appear in our inactive listings. So here we don't have any active items, but we do have that inactive listing. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now just run through any um, notifications here that might have popped up on your account to make sure that everything's running smoothly. And then that is it for your Etsy shop setup tutorial. So I hope that this was easy enough for you. It was easy to follow. This is the very first step into um, getting to the stage of your very first sale. I'm really excited for you and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.